Hey, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. And it's kind of cool to be involved in photography. And it's really cool to be involved in photography for a long, long time. So I've been taking pictures since I was 10 years old. And I've got a ton of negatives and slides. And I just want to talk to you about one of these cool new accessories that just came in today. And that's the long-awaited Nikon ES2 slide and negative digitizer. So this is a device and you can see it's attached here to the front of my Nikon lens. So it's attached to the 60 millimeter 2.8 G macro lens. It'll work with the Nikon 40 millimeter macro or the 60 millimeter D macro, but the 60 millimeter 2.8 G is the recommended lens. And if you put it on a Nikon D850, from 35 millimeter slides, which we all have a ton of, you can make a 46 megapixel raw file. And that's gonna blow the doors right off of any slide scanner on the market. So we all have a ton of 35 millimeter slides. And I just grabbed one of my slides, actually two of them, right here. And I put it in the little slide adapter. And that goes in here. It clips into place. I'm gonna turn the camera on. I'm going to set it to 200 ISO to aperture priority at f8. So I'm now going to turn the camera into live view, turn live view on. You have to disable the silent shutter mode and you want to enable focus peaking and turn the camera to manual focus. Now I'm going to get my glasses on here and I'm going to focus the lens so that I get a good, nice, peaked focus image. I know you can't see it, it's kind of hard, but now I'm gonna use my cable release, Nikon MC30A remote control, and I just copied a slide. So I'm now gonna switch to the other slide in the holder. Boom, just like that, and there it is. Now I focus, use the focus peaking in manual. I'm at F8. 200 ISO, it gives me about an eighth of a second exposure. Great. So you asked me what the light source is. I have a ProMaster LED over there. You might use a Savage LED or another color corrected LED. Just don't use something you grabbed at Home Depot. It's not gonna work real well. So here I just digitized some slides. And I'm gonna take the slides out. But we also have black and white negatives and we have color negatives. So here, I'm gonna slide a color negative in to the digitizer, and I'm gonna select the negative that I wanna copy, and this is such a cool device. I'm gonna hit the info button, go down to the slide digitizer, go to the right, choose color negative. It adjusts the color for me. I can adjust here. I hit okay. I can now Focus, get the focus just where I want. I can adjust the brightness and make the picture lighter or darker and hit OK. Boom. And now I've copied a 35 millimeter negative. And I want to show you this. So this is kind of hard to do, but so that's a picture of my daughter when she was three years old at Disneyland, and I just copied it. And I've got now a 46 megapixel file that I can make a giant print from. How cool is that? So it gives you the power with a modern camera to activate all your old pictures and to easily, while you're sitting in your dining room like I am now, bring those pictures back to life. Now, the negative copy feature is exclusive to D850. But any Nikon camera will make, sl make slide copies. If you do negatives with a, not the D850, you'll have to convert them, you'll have to adjust them in Photoshop to get the color right. But it's so cool to bring this forward. Nikon ES2 slide copy adapter, it's $149 at Paul's Photo. The 60 millimeter lens, $599 an LED light source, about $100 to $150. I use a battery powered one. I've got my camera on a tripod, so it's holding it still. You can set it on the dining room table if you want. It all works. So 
Come on out, activate those old pictures. Let's get them going, let's share them so that we can share photography and bring your old pictures back to life. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy saying, good luck tonight, bring out those old slides and let's have some fun with it.